The Gloucester River is probably the hardest canyon trip that I've attempted in the last decade. The Gloucester River flows east from Barrington Tops, about four hours north of Sydney. Our objective was simply a six kilometre circuit from the picnic area. It looks straightforward on the map, yet numerous trip reports of failed attempts paint a different picture. A tourist track leads from the car park for one kilometre past a couple of lovely lookouts. We then climbed the fence and followed a vague track along a rocky spine towards the roar of the first abseil, where the river disappears into a chute. After some debate, we chose a scrubby route away from the chute. We were too concerned about rope retrieval, as the rope would pass around a tree at a right angle. The pool at the bottom was quite chilly, and the noise of the falls deafening. The river makes a couple of sharp bends more than is shown on the map, and progress is very slow with large slippery boulders strewn right across the gorge floor. It took almost an hour to cover the 400 metres to the second abseil. The second and third abseils are in close succession. For the second abseil, we chose a line down the middle of the riverbed with twin falls cascading down on either side of us. A large platform splits the second and third abseils. We used a threaded sling in the middle of the platform for our anchor for the short third drop. We moved a little further downstream, away from the spray, and stopped for lunch with a great view back to the previous two abseils. We were surprised to find it had taken us three hours to cover just the one and a half kilometres from the car. Progress was slow. The river then passes through a shallow canyon for about 200 metres and contains numerous cascades and pools. The canyon ends ominously with a roaring waterfall at a large cliff and the river makes a U-turn around a rocky promontory while dropping 40 metres. We find an old sling on the promontory and make a 20 metre abseil down to a scree slope and then descend that to the river bed. We check the map again and can't believe it's taken almost five hours to cover just over two kilometres. The next obstacle is sometimes referred to as the point of no return. However, it is reversible with a straightforward scramble. We then walked around another drop to find the most challenging obstacle of the trip. The river drops into a pit out of sight. We wrap the two ropes around a tree and toss them into the void. The abseil is actually straightforward, but transports you into a hostile environment under the wash of the waterfall. The force of the water is so strong that it pushes you to the back of the pool and against the wall and causes quite a challenge for rope management. We're just not used to this volume of water in the Blue Mountains canyons. I was quite relieved to exit the pool and witness the force of nature from a safer distance. It's quite an impressive sight. The creek then flows through another canyon section with swims before opening out and offering easier going. We avoid a couple more drops with some effort and then make it to our exit ridge after seven hours. The ridge is steep and loose but leads us back to the tourist track and then on to the car. The Gloucester River is quite a trip. The Barrington Tops area certainly offers the greatest challenge to anyone looking to complete the Rick Jameson Canyon Guide.